local militias have formed to try and uh, basically protect their own homes. Uh, as you can see in the arena now, a group of French partisans. Um, you can see a couple of them are fairly well dressed. These are the people who have organised these militias, uh, looking very dapper. Um, however, the rest of them are a little better than farmers. Um, their equipment is mostly stuff they have either scavenged uh, while skirmishing with uh, uh, Brit British, uh, Brunswick, uh, you know, any of the forces that have invaded southern France. Um, or things like fouling pieces and whatever they can pick up on their own homestead. Uh, as you can see here, they, are, <coughs> they have been um, harassing local troops for uh, quite a while. And uh, they're just setting up a uh, nice little camp for, for themselves. Um, <coughs> now in the area there is a um, detachment of Brunswick troops who have been uh, dispatched to try and deal with this problem. Uh, as you can see from the um, unkempt, net unkempt nature of the partisans and the fact that they are arguing back with those who are technically in command of them, are particularly disciplined troops. They rely on hit and run tactics and um, want to avoid any sort of sustained engagement um, as, you know, well they want to avoid it like the plague because they'll get cut to ribbons. And you can see a small unit um, right at the top of the field who have been sent off on patrol. Um, you know, they're probably going to have a scout out see if there's any troops in the vicinity, poke some rabbits, or I'll generally do whatever the heck they want. As I said, they're not particularly disciplined troops. The remnants of them, as you can see, are lounging about. No particular guard has been mounted. They know this area very well, and they're not particularly concerned about being ambushed. <coughs> as you can also see, they've started drinking as well. Because, well, they quite like having a good time, and they're fairly relaxed. However, entering the field now, you can see uh, the black uniforms of two Brunswickers. These two individuals are Jaegers. They are light infantry designed to skirmish and harass forces. The Brunswickers were um, founded by the Duke of Brunswick after, he was, uh, after Napoleon uh, took over his duchy. <coughs> And um, the Brunswickers themselves uh, joined uh, British service um, and fought throughout the peninsula and all the way into Waterloo. And you can see the Jaegers now are, have engaged the um, force of militia that have remained at camp and they've uh, formed some rudimentary cover, um, you know, so they don't get shot. Now the Jaegers um, will be um, accompanied by a main unit of, of detachment of Brunswick forces. They are simply the advance guard, the scouts, scouting the terrain, and engaging anything um, that they happen to come across, keeping their heads down and um, harassing them. You can see that they are both crouched. Uh, one of them has taken a lying position, uh, minimizing the area that can be potentially be hit. The militia now are trying to advance. And they've got one of the Jaegers. Now, I wonder what they're going to do with him. Well, after scouting the body of the Jaeger, um, you can now see entering the field the main force of the Brunswick troops. There are two detachments, um, each of them led by officers, <laughs> and they are forming a rudimentary skirmish line to fight against the militia.
As you can see, the skirmish line, they're trying to advance, trying to get a better position, trying to flank their enemy who are in a static position. The more fire they can bring down on them, the better. Also, as you can see, the scouting unit that got sent out has returned. And have now starting to attack some of the British forces in the rear, catching them in a pincer movement. A more particular, particularly nutty um, militiaman with a banner has gone and engaged uh, one of the Brunswick detachments by himself. <laughs> And has paid the price for his foolishness. You can see casualties are starting to be. Oh, one of the officers has been shot in the eye! <laughs> Hopefully, this won't affect the chain of command too much. All well, the Brunswick forces are looking good now. They really are caught in a crossfire. You can see the one Brunswick private there valiantly trying to get his officer out of the field. Very loyal. Ah! Oh, the officer's been shot again. Ah, oh, they've killed the private as well. Valiantly trying to save his officer, but ultimately to no avail. Now the worm seems to have turned on the Brunswick as now. With only the, only the three of them left, two privates and an officer, they are being, starting to become surrounded by the militia. Oh, the, other, the lieutenant has just been shot as well. Things really are looking good for them at the minute. Fire coming in on all sides now as the militia start advancing, closing the ground. Oh. One last private now. Seems to be doing okay. Oh, I spoke too soon. He's not doing okay. He's being relentlessly pummeled on the ground. Well, suffice to say, I think we all can see that didn't really go to plan. The Brunswickers have marched into some. To, the Brunswickers have marched into a situation where they have been outwitted by the locals trying to defend their homes. No doubt they'll now start drinking and looting the dead. That was sort of a cue, guys. Loot the dead. <laughs> As usual after a battle, the dead are now being pillaged, any valuables will be removed, and no doubt put to some good use. Well, whether it falls into your definition of a good use or not is completely up to you. <coughs> and the Frenchmen live another day, those who are still alive, obviously, and will no doubt return to camp, take all the weapons, Finish off anyone who apparently isn't dead. And from the small engagement, have no doubt almost doubled their arsenal of weapons. Fervently loyal to Napoleon, this lot. <laughs> 